Hi, welcome to another one of the Raspberry Pi 3 videos. Uh, in this video, we'll try and build a Smart Pi Touch console with the Raspberry Pi 3, a Raspberry Pi 7 inch display, and a Pi Touch case. The things we would use is a Raspberry Pi for sure, it's Pi 3 Model B. Uh, a power source, this one is from Pro Elec. it's a 5.25 volts, 2.4 amperes, micro USB of course. We'd be using a screwdriver for sure, we'll be using a Raspberry Pi 7 inch display, this is supposed to be the official display from Raspberry Pi and the Smart Pi Touch case. Let's start unboxing everything and go from there. Let's begin with the Smart Pi Touch case. The case has just a bag and inside the bag we have a few items. Let's see how we can open this up. There we go. Since I already know a little bit about this build, I'll just set on the side the things that we'd be using for this build. So we'd be using this connector, bus connector. We would be using the screw cases, we'd be using the power connector, we would be using the stand and the back build and the Allen key. These are the things that are required for this build. So uh, let's begin with the stand. The stand has uh, these four corners where we have to connect the rubber foot pegs so that we have a stable and non-scratchy kind of a base. So we take one each, like this, take another one, we'll do this to all four sides. And the last one right here. Okay, there we go. That takes care of the base. Coming back to the housing. The housing has an open latch right here. And it also has Uh, black colored rubber gamuts there it is so this basically is just to make sure that there is no friction and things don't tap around let me see if I can get rid of this go. In the housing on the reverse side, this sticks right here. A small square where this guy sits. It's supposed to protect it. And the second rubber gamut goes right here. If you see the smart touch facing me, the end in between these two on the upper edge, so let me see if I can get rid of this quickly. There we go. And this goes right here in between this and this segment. There we go. So one is here and one is here. And this sits like this, here and here, okay? 
All right, let's get to the next part. Now to unbox the screen. It's here. Here is the box for the screen. We will use this cushion to protect the screen. Here is the screen and uh, it does come with a bunch of other things including a bus but we will be using the one that came with uh, the Smart Pie Touch case. So let's open this guy up. I like these bags that come with the Smart, uh, the Raspberry Pis. At least the official Raspberry Pis. So as you can see, this is the seven inch screen. This is the back of it. This is where we would be working. So to begin with, we have to connect the bus first. The bus goes right here in this segment. We open the latch. And we connect the bus. The bus goes silver side up. So the other side is blue. There's a silver side. Put it in. Close the latch, both sides. There we go. And we are good. Now the bus is connected. We'll move this to the side. We'll come back to the case. Here's the base that we set up earlier. It goes right in like this. So you can, you can pretty much understand uh, the pegs that we initially set up go to the bottom and this is how it should look. We'll use the provided screws to connect the base to the casing. So this goes right here. The screw goes from the, the bolt goes from the other side, the nut and the bolt fix here. There's a small latch on the side that holds the bolt. We use the Allen key that is provided with the case to tighten it up. Uh, just make sure that we do not tighten it too much because we'll need to do that later. For now, we just need it to sit there, so to say. Let's do the same with the other side. Use the bolt and the nut together. And again, do not tighten it too much because we'll need to do that later. For now, let's keep it loose. Now let's get back to the LCD screen. So the setup is such that you have to keep the bus on the left side and then the smart pie touch wording facing you. We move the bus through the gap right here and we go ahead and settle the LCD screen. There we go. This should go in there properly. There we go. Settles quite nicely. And the bus is right here. The next thing we're going to do is use the provided four screws to hold the LCD screen with the case. One goes here. Again, do not tighten them too much. One goes here. So four of them, one, two, three, and four. I'm still using the black colored uh, screws. There we go. The last one is coming. Here we are. So on the case side, we are pretty much all set up. This is how the final case should look like. And this is the back of it. 
Let's put it to the side. Let's open the next thing. And that is the Raspberry Pi 3. Again, I really like these bags, they come in. And here is the credit card sized computer. Now let's get back the case and put it right on the cushion, safe. Now here is the bus that holds, that connects the LCD with the Pi. So we loosen it up like we did on the LCD screen, silver side up, goes in, there we go, close the latch, there we are on both the sides, settle it down, and this is how the final setup should look like. Let me push this a little in the back. There we go. And here we are. This is the final setup. So there are two more uh, screws, silver ones, that we could use. They go here and here or here and here, two corners. But then the latch won't fit in. This latch, it won't fit in. Uh, currently, I'm not using any heat sinks for uh, both the Wi-Fi and the processor side, but if uh, eventually I wanted to, I could. So this is the final product. We latch it up like this. Close this down, and we are good to go. Now the only thing that is left is connecting the power. We are provided with a dual-end connector from the case guys. So let's connect that guy up. Okay, it's like this. There, one is in. The second one, let's see. There we go. And this is the final product. Now we can tighten the base slightly so that it sits well. And there we are. There, that looks uh, pretty decent. Uh, the power. So this connects to the splitter here and we get power and it's all set up. Now, I do know that I have to put in a memory card right in here. So, since I'll be using multiple, multiple memory cards, it's easier to do that because I just have to pick it up, put in the memory card from this side, and we are good to go. Uh, it does block the HDMI port, so this guy gets blocked, but that's okay since the LCD plays through this bus. The audio jack here is open, and all your ports on the side, which include the Ethernet and four USB are open, so that's pretty much all you're going to use. So that's it. That's how you connect the Smart Pi Touch with your LCD 7 inch display. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll be more than happy to uh, try and answer you. Also, I would be making a future video to have multiple wheels uh, installed on the Raspberry Pi. And, and there we go. 
If you want, I can create a video for that of how I had multiple builds. It'll be a triple boot kind of an environment. Uh, of course, if you want, I can create that video for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to comment. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.